Hello Mouses and welcome to another episode of the Knob Mouse Show. I'm Zoe Kirk Robinson and this is the show where I talk about the news and other things that have caught my interest today. I want to start today by talking about this tweet that The Telegraph put out last night about an author, Jeanette Winterson, who wrote Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit in 1985 and a load of other books that I really haven't heard of. But last night wrote something that has caused an awful lot of people to go, oh dear. She put out a tweet where she said that she'd killed a rabbit that had been eating her parsley and she'd cooked it in some parsley and some cider. And she also showed some pictures. And that is where this goes from author talking to fans on Twitter to something that might actually be newsworthy. Because people caused quite a ruckus. Now there's a lot of people out there, and they're not all meat eaters, who think that showing pictures of partly skinned animals is not the best way to make people really happy with you. And I'm one of those people. I'm a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for more than half my life. And I really, really don't want to see images like that. So when the Telegraph came along and put out a news article on this story and accompanied it with the pictures that she had used on Twitter, it turned my stomach. Why? Because Twitter, by default, shows you the pictures that are linked in articles and the Telegraph linked to picture. It wasn't the worst picture, I'll give them the due on that one, but it was a picture of chopped up rabbits in stew. I don't want to see that. So thanks Telegraph, you turned my stomach, literally. Now, did Winterson do wrong here? I think morally we can say yes. She showed us something that we really, really don't want to see. I don't care if you eat meat or not. I don't care if you kill it yourself or not. I do care if you show it to me. I don't want to see that. And a lot of other people didn't want to see that either, which is why one of her followers, Holly Hogs, has pretty much summed up the problem with this statement thing is that most people don't feel a need to post such graphic image and joke about it. That's the difference. And yes, that is exactly it. I don't care if you want to eat meat as well. You trap your own food. That's fine. Do what you need to to make yourself happy. As long as the thing that you're killing isn't suffering, then that's okay. But don't show it to me. Especially don't show it to me without warning, which is what happens when you post pictures on Twitter. Aside from the moral and slightly ethical issues here, was there any law actually broken? Strangely enough, no. Under Section 1 of the Pests Act of 1965, rabbits are classified as vermin, and England and Wales, apart from the City of London, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and a lot of the littler islands that make up the British Isles are all declared rabbit clearance zones. Landowners in rabbit clearance zones have an obligation to trap and kill rabbits to keep the population down because they're pests. They breed like rabbits, so we have to keep the population down, otherwise it gets out of control. And since rabbit numbers have actually been going up since the 1950s, we're not actually doing that. However, we do have an obligation under law to do it. I don't know what that noise is, I think there's a helicopter going past, we're just going to go on regardless. And the fact is that this rabbit came onto her land, so she had, technically, she had a legal duty to kill it. So. No law has actually been broken as long as the rabbit is treated humanely once it's trapped. Because the pests have temporarily declares that rabbits are a protected species once they've been caught. So you have to treat them humanely. You can't torture it. You can't just let it there to suffer and die. You have to deal with it humanely. Apparently she did that. So technically, no law has been broken and she's actually fulfilled her obligations under the law. So there you have it. But she's still a dick for putting those pictures on Twitter. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you did like this, and if you did, remember to click the like button. Share it with your friends so that they know their duties under the law as well regarding rabbits. And do subscribe for future videos, because there will be more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, you've been watching The Knob Mouse Show, and I'll see you tomorrow.